Okay, so we have created a test that checks if token is expired or not. And in this unit test, we have actually generated the token and we are testing if this token is not expired. So what I'll do now, I will rename this function and name it test has token not expired. Because in this case, I want this token to be non-expired and I want this case to fail if token is expired. And in this video, we are going to create a test that validates the already expired token and the test will fail if the token is valid and if the token has not expired. So I'll create a new test and I'll call it test has token expired like this. And I will create a new string which will hold the token which has been already expired. So I will call it expired token equals and I have one token which is already expired. I'll just paste it here and the value of this token is okay to hard code. We want this token to be expired. So we can run this unit test a week later or months later or a year later. And if for some reason it will fail, then we have a shoe in our code. So now when I have this expired token, I will reuse this line and paste it here. I'll check has token expired and I'll give it an expired token. So now this has token expired function should return true. So because I'm expecting a true value, I will use the assert true and I will give it has token expired. Okay, and once again, if for some reason this function returns false for a token which has already been expired, then we have a shoe in that function and then we know where to look for a problem. Okay, so now let's run this unit test and see if it passes. Oops, the bar is red and we have an issue inside of our has token expired function. And um, it is an exception, expired GVT token exception. So we are expecting a Boolean value, but the actual result is actually an exception. So thanks to this unit test, we have found an error in our project. So let's go and fix this. I will open has token expired implementation and this function returns a Boolean value, but somewhere inside of this code, we get an exception. So what we can do, we can handle this exception and if exception takes place, if the token has expired, we will set the value to false. So I'll create a return value, boolean return value equals, let's say the token has not expired. And now I will take this code into try and catch like this. I will move this line of code inside of my try and catch. And I will assign the result of this before function call to my return value. And now let's bring up the unit test. We are expecting expired GW2 exception. So if this expired GW2 exception takes place, JWT exception takes place, then we will set the return value to true. The token has expired. And this one, let's actually set it to false like this and then we will return the return value and we will import the expired JWT exception like this and let's format our code okay so let's try running this unit test one more time and see if it fixes the problem and let's actually debug it let's put a breakpoint on this line and let's put a breakpoint inside of the catch. And then let's put a breakpoint to see what would be the return value. Okay, now I'll go back to my unit test and I'll debug it one more time. Debug as unit test. Switch to debug perspective, yes. Okay, so we are now inside of has token expired. Inside of the try and catch, the default value is false. Let's step over. And right away we get an exception when our GWT parser is trying to parse the claims out of this token. 
and the exception is that the token has expired. The JWT expired at and then the date. Very good. So now we are setting the return value to true. Let's step over. The return value is true. Step over and the test should pass now. Resume. Resume. Let's go back to our unit tests. And we have a successful unit test. So thanks to this has token expired unit test, we were able to find an issue in our code and fix it. So let's continue testing our project.